Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at 5.3 area of sectors and segments. 5.3 represents Chapter 5, Section 3 of the Pearson A Level Maths, Pure Maths Year 2 textbook. Let's go through the key facts of this section. Consider the following sector. Let R be the radius of the sector and let theta be this particular angle. The area of a sector is given by a half r squared theta where r represents the radius and theta represents the angle measured in radians consider the following circle let o be the center ladies and gents over here we have a minor sector suppose r is the radius and suppose this angle is x now the area of a minor sector is given by this formula over here, which is the general formula, a half r squared theta. But the theta in this scenario is x, so we've got a half r squared x. Ladies and gents, we also have a major sector. For that major sector, this angle over here in radians is 2 pi minus x. We know that for a full turn the angle is 2 pi. We just want only that angle there so it has to be 2 pi take away this angle x. Right, the area of a major sector again is given by this general formula a half r squared theta. But in this scenario for that major sector theta is 2 pi minus x. So we've got a half r squared multiplied by 2 pi minus x. Sometimes in the examination, you could be asked to calculate the area of a segment. What is a segment? Well, a segment is the area between an arc and a chord. Consider the following sector. Suppose this is my chord. Now, this area here, which is the area between an arc and a chord, I can call it A, is a segment. Okay, so we want to calculate the area A of this segment. Before we do this, suppose that for the sector, the radius is R and this angle is theta. Now the area A of the segment, ladies and gents, is given by the area of the entire sector, a half R squared theta, minus the area of the triangle using a half a b sine c so that will be a half r times r which is r squared sine c where c is the angle theta so sine theta that is how you calculate the area of a segment okay so these are the key facts of 5.3 area sectors and segments let's go through an exam style question in the diagram, AD and BC are arcs of circles with centre O, such that O to A is equal O to D, which is equal R centimetre. A to B is equal D to C, which is equal 8 centimetre, and angle BOC is theta radians. Part A, given that the area of the shaded region is 48 centimetre squared, show that R is equal 6 over theta minus 4. Ladies and gents, we've got the area of the shaded region, which is 48 centimetre squared. Firstly, I'm going to calculate an expression for the area of the shaded region. Area of shaded region is given by the area of the large sector, which is a half multiplied by radius squared. So the radius is r plus 8. So we do radius squared multiplied by theta minus the area of the small sector which is given by a half r squared theta. Now we can simplify this. We can open this up into double brackets and then expand. So we've got a half r plus 8 r plus 8 theta minus a half r squared theta. We can expand this double bracket to give us a half in bracket r squared plus 16r plus 64 multiplied by theta minus a half r squared theta. That there is an expression for the shaded region. 
we can set this equal to 48. So we have a half in bracket r squared plus 16 r plus 64 multiplied by theta minus a half r squared theta. This must equal 48. I can start by multiplying the entire equation by 2. So if I do this, I get the following reduced equation. The left hand side becomes r squared plus 16r plus 64 in brackets multiplied by theta minus r squared multiplied by theta equal. The right hand side will be 48 times 2, which is 96. Okay, so now I can divide both sides by theta. So if I divide both sides by theta, the left hand side will become r squared plus 16r plus 64 minus r squared equal 96 over theta which is the right hand side so the r squareds cancel i'm left with 16 r plus 64 which is equal 96 over theta okay absolutely beautiful now i can make r the subject so i've got 16 r is equal 96 over theta minus 64 Dividing both sides by 16 gives me r equal precisely this, 6 over theta minus 4 as required. That there ladies and gents completes part A of this exam style question. Moving on to part B of this exam style question. Given also that r is equal 10 theta, calculate the perimeter of the shaded region. So we've got r is equal 10 theta. This implies that from part A, 6 over theta minus 4 has to equal 10 theta. We can multiply the entire equation by theta. And so if we do this, the left hand side becomes 6 minus 4 theta equal, the right hand side becomes 10 theta squared. So what we have over here, ladies and gents, is a quadratic equation. I can take everything, for example, to the right hand side. If I do this, I get 0 is equal 10 theta squared plus 4 theta minus 6. I can solve this particular quadratic equation by the method of factorization. So I can factorize this, but before I do that, because I'm an extra mathematician, I'm an excited mathematician, I'm passionate, I'm going to actually try and reduce this equation to something that looks more simple. So I can divide the entire equation by 2. So if I do that, I get 0 is equal 5 theta squared plus 2 theta minus 3. Okay, so now I'm going to factorize this. So if I factorize, I get 0 is equal 5 theta minus 3 in bracket multiplied by theta plus 1 in bracket. So we can set the two brackets equal to 0 and then work out theta. So we've got 5 theta minus 3 equals 0 and we've got theta plus 1 equals 0. Hence theta is equal 3 over 5, theta is equal minus 1. Now the radius is given by 10 theta. We know that radius is a length. The radius will be positive, it will be more than 0. So we must take the positive solution of theta over here for this to make sense. So that positive solution is 3 over 5. So we've got r is equal 10 lots of 3 over 5. We're going to reject this solution. Okay, so we can multiply these two and we get r is equal 6. Okay, now we're trying to calculate the perimeter of the shaded region. Let's call the perimeter p. So how do we calculate the perimeter? Well, we just add up the outside of this region. So we've got 8 here, we've got 8 here. That is 8 plus 8, 16. Plus this arc length over here, that will be r multiplied by theta. So r is 6, we have 6 multiplied by theta. Plus this arc length over here, which will be r plus 8, that is the entire radius, which is 14 multiplied by theta. So we've got that the perimeter is equal 16 plus 20 theta. We know what theta is. Theta is 3 over 5. So we've got perimeter P is equal 16 
plus 20 lots of substitute 3 over 5. So if I put this into my calculator, I get that the perimeter will equal 28 centimetre. So that is the perimeter of the shaded region. That day, ladies and gents, completes this teaching video of 5.3 area of sectors and segments. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive a notification every time I post a teaching video.